the Flip Flop Shop Jacksonville at the beautiful Five Points area and this shop opened up recently and I think it's perfect, right? Florida and flip-flops, how could you go wrong? So let me introduce you to the owner, the co-owners here. We have uh, Miss Troy Wynn and her son Chris. Thanks for Hello. having me today. Thanks for Thanks having for us. us. And another thing I want to point out, y'all are both natives. I yep. love that too. So we love to support our local businesses and Absolutely. especially if they're from here. How cool yeah. is that? So. Let's talk about this. Why did you want to open up a shop after retiring and you're also 75 years young? Of well, of course, young. Yeah. <laughs> um, I did that because I don't sit home well, that I have a boundless amount of energy. I am an entrepreneur by, by personality and I can't see sitting home eating cat food and darning socks. So I had to go do something <laughs> and I thought, well, this sounded like a really great idea because it's called flip flops in Florida. What else could you, you know, sounds like a winner to me. Yeah, never goes out of style. Absolutely. But that was going to be my question. Why? flip-flops if you could open up any type of uh, your own business why flip-flops you know I, I went online and I saw this ad for uh, for franchise for flip-flops I got to thinking I said you know in Florida it doesn't matter what the weather is cold or warm everybody may dress from here to their ankles and warm clothes they always always have on a flip-flop mm -hmm. gotta be the reason I mean you know <laughs> there's got to be something to that so I decided flip-flops were a way to go and a lot of people wear them and they do need more and so oh I, yeah I'm here to provide those. There you go. Chris. And Chris, why did you want to get involved in a business with your mom? Well, I was living in uh, Manhattan for the last, you know, 20 plus years. Mm -hmm. um, and I was working for a major corporation, uh, sales wise. And right. uh, once the pandemic hit, mm -hmm. um, the sales obviously went down. Wasn't the very happiest guy in the, in the city of, of Manhattan. Um, <clears throat> and so when the opportunity came, me and my mom spoke about it. She said, this could be a great opportunity for us to work together. I said, why not? Leap of faith, we're gonna jump right in and do oh, it. Yeah, a lot yeah. of changes were made Lots during quarantine, right? Yeah, so yeah. congratulations so far. This is really cool. Just kind of give everyone though a brief overview of what you do offer here. Well, obviously, some of the highest brands, most recognized brands of shoes, as well as wonderful other accessories, like we had the sand cloud uh, item for the beaches and, and the uh, towels and so forth. Uh, they don't ca carry the sand. Oh, that's we have, nice. you know, so they're very easy to use. Uh, we have some accessories. We have some shirts, the the uh, SPF 50 shirts yep. uh, for the winter, for the summer, uh, sun, and then we had the hats that what people would want to wear when they are. Um, out on the ocean and their SPF 50 also to protect from the sun so we have and we have some mango California mango products and, sh and accessories and we do some charity event uh, pieces um, I can tell you a little bit about those later well yeah I was gonna ask too you do love to give back to the community yes. we're talking off-camera uh, with different events yes. and so tell us a little bit about that well when I decided to do this venture I decided that I didn't want to do it just for me I wanted to do it for my community and at I'm going into the fourth quarter of my life, and what can I spend money on, right? I mean, I, I do want to have enough money to live on, but aside from that, I want organizations to have an opportunity to have another way to showcase what they do for the community. We're in really hard times right now for a lot of people, and if I can make awareness known, if I can provide a few dollars in the pockets of the charities by people coming in and buying and us contributing to those charities, that's what I think we should do. That's wonderful. And you also want to help out the everyday shopper too, right? I sure do. Uh, so tell us about that. Well, it's, uh, we started this on August the 12th. So every 12th day of the month, there'll be other specials, but this one is every, every month. When you come in the shop on the 12th day of the month, you'll get a 12% discount. Typically it's five to 10% depending on the, the, the um, product that we're selling and so forth. But on that day, every product is 12% off. Okay, how All exciting. Okay, well, they are new, so you're probably wondering, where are they? So, Chris, tell everyone where they can find you. Okay, <clears throat> that's a little bit of a, in a conundrum. So, <laughs> our address is 1620 Market Street. Now, Market Street is on the other side of where we are. We're actually off of Oak Street, which is the front side of the entrance of Market Street. Okay, so we're located off of Oak Street, right next to the Firehouse Subs. You can't, you can't miss this, okay? So, you can get yourself a sub and get yourself a pair of flip-flops. There you go. Time. And then go next door and get a pedicure. Get a pedicure. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and then you'll have, you know, your beautiful flip-flops to show off the toes. That's well, right. You, I love you guys. I mean, we've been talking. They are, they are hilarious. I love them. You guys are so sweet. Thank you so much for letting me come into your world today. Thank you so, Thank much, you for so much for having me. Of course, and good luck with everything. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Of course. Have a great night. And if you'd like to see this interview again, just head to our website at firstcoastliving.net.